Hi again YouTubers, um, I know we're looking down the toilet pan, seems a bit odd, but um, if you look closely, you'll see that there's water running there. Now it can be one or two problems, I've done another video on this where it turns out to be a bullcock. Um, this is another one where we're going to sort out because I think the, the actual washer, the diaphragm, got some muck under it and not seating down properly. So you're getting this water running by. Uh, and if you do get this, it's, it's something easy to miss and it's going to cost you a lot of money in your water bill. So this is something to sort out and I'm going to show you how to do it right now. Okay, first off, we've got to get um, the lid off, and these are fastened on, so we're, we're going to have to actually pull these off of here uh, and to get it out. So I'm going to put the camera down first and just get the lid off and show you how it's done. Okay, now I've, I've pulled the buttons out, they do just lift out, they're not too bad to get out. Um, I'll put them down on the floor here. Uh, there's the two buttons. Um, they're a bit, bit awkward to get out, but you can get them out. Uh, it's actually loosened the siphon now, so I'm going to take the lid off to show you the bits. And as I take it away, you'll see the siphon's attached. Okay, so look at the camera. Okay, now that's, that's the bottom of our siphoning system. Now all we've got to watch is that little bits of rubbish, see it there, um, get stuck on the washer. And if it does, it stops it from sealing up properly. Uh, and if it doesn't seal up properly, you're going to leak water into the pan. Now if these are very bad, um, you're going to have to replace this washer. Um, but a lot of times it's it's more because there's a lump of something going on there. I mean, our washer is a little bit perished there. This one could probably do with renewing. Uh, and there is enough to get from any plumber shop uh, and just replace this whole washer. It just all pings off, as you can see. It just lifts away. Um, but as you can see, that's probably our problem there on that there. So I'm going to change that one. Um, and also to watch, we've got to watch that it seats properly down there. So we've got to make sure it's also where my hand is going, is clear and not any muck or rubbish on there. So make sure too, that that is clean and clear. Okay, so you get a nice solid joint there. So make sure there's no rubbish. So we'll change our washer over first. So okay, now the next thing is just to replace it back into this system again. And uh, by the way, I've, I've actually taken this off of there now. It's only held by the screw, as you can see through there. I've um, just done screwing, it will come away easy enough. So I've unscrewed it, it will be easier in the long run. So I'm going to stick this in there now. now here, here we go, I'm just going to slide it into its position. Okay, just slide it in, it just sits in there like so. And we line these two buttons up here like so. Okay, just screw your lid down, mate. It's a bit of a job lining it up, but once it's lined up, get them screwed in there, and then we're ready to put our buttons back in. Okay, it's up to you how you want to put these buttons facing the side or back as they were. Uh, entirely up to you. And we put these back in, and um, we should be away with the mixer then. And we'll get that one back in. Okay, like so. And they should fit like that. And we should have our flash back, which we have. Um, now you've got a choice, you can have these around that way if you'd rather have the front and back. Uh, but make sure that's screwed up nice and tight. And that should be the end of the job. Um, give it a while to settle down and then go back and check where it's still dry and it should be dry there now, you shouldn't get any water running through there now. Okay, I'll bit just pop on and just let you see the, uh, the finished thing. There's no water running down there now, so we know we've got the job. But do keep an eye on it, sometimes lumps of rubbish do get under that seal and that's when they leak. But uh, there we are, it is completely finished and done. Uh, and that YouTube is simply the job. Um, not a nice job, but one that will save you money. So uh, once again, from Al, thanks very much for watching. Catch you again.